How many of you do suffer from thyroid issues and do take thyroid medication? And how many of you are surprised to see that in, as years go by, your thyroid medication keeps increasing in dose year on year? This is Dr. Lenny DeCosta, a geriatric physician, a functional medicine expert and the author of the upcoming book, Is Your Doctor Keeping You Sick? My dear friends, today I'm going to tell you or put before you five poisons that exist in our own houses that affects our thyroid and probably keeps worsening whatever thyroid issues we have. So to start with, the first commonest thing that you see in your house is plastic water bottles and plastic food containers. Why are plastic water bottles and food containers dangerous? They have something known as bisphenol A. Bisphenol A is an endocrine disruptor. It actually goes and stops thyroid function, the thyroid functioning properly. Specifically, it goes and reduces the T4 secretion. Now, you need to understand that the hormone that the thyroid gland secretes is T4. T4 then gets converted into the active thyroid hormone called T3. So if the T4 production is decreased, the active T3 production automatically goes down. And this causes a condition known as hypothyroidism that a lot of people do suffer from. And hypothyroidism gives rise to loss of hair, weight gain, and a whole lot of other problems. Because for, especially for women, it disrupts the entire endocrine system. So the first one is your plastics in your house, plastic water bottles, plastic food containers, both of which are dangerous, both of which are endocrine disruptors, both of which are poisons for your thyroid gland. Number two, all those non-stick cookware that you use. Non-stick cookware contains polyfluoro uh, let me let me pronounce that properly polyfluoroalkyl substances i think i got that right Floro, uh, polyfluoroalkyl substances now polyfluoroalkyl substances are generally very very bad for all your endocrine systems all your endocrine organs these are endocrine disruptors for the thyroid gland, it does the same thing. It, it stops the thyroid gland from functioning properly, as a result of which you do not have enough T4 production. And if you don't have T4 production, the chances are that you do get hypothyroidism because there's not enough T3, so not enough thyroid hormones for your body to function normally. So most, and, and, and this happens regularly. Now, across the world in, in, uh, in our countries, uh, across the world, the Western countries or more developed countries, many of these uh, substances have been banned. Despite that, the new chemicals being used for this particular uh, non-stick cookware also are endocrine disruptors. So you need to stop using the uh, non-stick cookware. This is the second uh, disruptor of your thyroid gland or a second poison that affects your thyroid gland. The third one is what is a recent feature in our country in India. Most urban cities have been using those lovely furnitures that you get from these furniture malls or online furniture malls. Most of it is imported or comes from other countries or the panels that are used to make it come from other countries. These have got fire retardants used on them. Fire retardants have something known as polybrominated diphenyl ethers. Polybrominated diphenyl ethers are poisons, are thyroid poisons. They affect the thyroid gland and they stop it from functioning normally. Now, these same fire retardants are used also on your mattresses, those beautiful soft mattresses that you get from most of the mattress for manufacturers, you get them. They use this because they need this not to catch fire in case of a fire issue, a, a, a fire tragedy. So these fire retardants do cause a problem for your thyroid gland and the other uh, 
endocrine glands as well. They are endocrine disruptors. But specifically for your thyroid, it causes hypothyroidism and you can land up with hypothyroidism or your hypothyroidism keeps getting worse despite taking medication. And this, my dear friends, is the third poison in your house for your thyroid gland. The fourth one, surprisingly, is something that we're using so very commonly these days, a hand sanitizer. Now, this message is specially for pregnant and expecting mothers and small children. Some of these hand sanitizers have got a chemical known as triclosan. Now, triclosan is a thyroid disruptor or an endocrine disruptor that affects the thyroid gland specifically. You do get the thyroid gland reducing the secretion of T4 if, you, if it is, gets too much of triclosan. So when you apply it on your hands, you do have that triclosan getting absorbed through the skin. Most Luckily, most hand sanitizers are alcohol based. But if you do look at it, at your what contents of the, of the of the hand sanitizer that you use. And if it has got triclosan, please avoid using it. Finally, the last poison that you have in your house is, not every household has it, but quite a few households today in urban India have it, is cigarette smoke. If either you have a family member who smokes a cigarette in the house or you are exposed to cigarette smoke in some way, you are getting exposed to cadmium. Cigarette smoke has cadmium. What does cadmium do? Cadmium gets into your bloodstream, goes to, uh, goes and actually sits on receptors where a good mineral like zinc sits. So it mimics zinc and it blocks that receptor. So zinc cuts it in the receptor. One of the many functions that zinc is very, very, uh, no, a, a very important function that zinc does rather is conversion of T4 to T3. Now T4, T3 conversion is important because you may have T4, which is actually made in your thyroid gland, which doesn't get converted into T3. Therefore, there's no active thyroid hormone. You need to get this conversion for which you need you need a zinc presence. Now, if that zinc receptor there is blocked by cadmium, T4, T3 conversion doesn't take place and you get hypothyroidism. Now, these are the five poisons that are seen in our household regularly and these affect our thyroid gland. Let's go through them again. Plastic bottles and containers, uh, your nonstick cookware, fire retardants in our lovely furniture and mattresses. You have your good hand sanitizer with triclosan, so specifically when triclosan is present in hand sanitizer. And finally, any smoking, cigarette smoking in the house that causes it to affect your thyroid. Cigarette smoking also, the cadmium and cigarette smoking also affects you and causes diabetes. So it's just not thyroid problems, it can cause you diabetes as well. So having said this, what are the few uh, changes you can do? For starters, stop using all plastics, use glass bottles and use containers that, have, that do not have BPA. So use non-BPA plastic containers and specifically for putting your water bottles in your fridge, use glass bottles. So that is the first thing that you need to do uh, to protect your thyroid from, from BPA the poison that is so common in our kitchens and in our households. Number two, for the nonstick, you need to get rid of all your nonstick cookware because there's no other solution. Use any other cookware, but get rid of the nonstick cookware. As far as your fire retardants on this furniture and, uh, and uh, uh, mattresses is concerned, stop. Either you don't buy such furniture and mattresses, or if you have them already, Ensure that you actually, because this, this, the, the, the way they affect you is when they get old and a lot of dust falls around. So the best way to ensure that it doesn't affect you is uh, actually use a vacuum cleaner to clean your house regularly every day and get rid of all the 
dust in your house, open it up, let everything go out. Let there be fresh air when you're doing the vacuuming and ensure that there's no dust either off your mattress or your furniture in the house. If, it, if your furniture is getting a little old, get rid of it, get new furniture which does not have uh, fire retardants. Of course, these are expensive options, but the easiest one is for you to go and clean your house with a, with a vacuum cleaner every day. Uh, as far as triclosan and uh, your sanitizer with triclosan is concerned, the best way to avoid this is wash your hands instead of using the, uh, the, the hand sanitizer, especially for children and especially for expecting mothers. Because if you do have a lot of triclosan exposure as a child, you will get hypothyroidism as you grow up. And if you are an expecting mother, the baby that you're carrying in your womb will get hypothyroidism and you don't want that happening. So avoid uh, hand sanitizers with triclosan and wash your hands as much as possible rather than using hand sanitizers. Use it only as the last resort. And finally, avoid any cigarette smoke in your house. If anyone smokes, tell them to smoke outside the house. Let there be no uh, cigarette smoke in your house, right? My dear friends, if you like this video, please share it, uh, give me a thumbs up and do write me a comment as well because I get a lot of comments, I read them. If you have any questions, do send them in the comment box and I'll try and answer it. Uh, and do visit my YouTube channel. I've got tons and tons of videos that can help you live a happy, healthy life. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, happy living, healthy living. Bye.